Hi everyone, Forrest here with Honey Pots Zone 5 and I wanted to talk again about the winter sewing. I hadn't planned on making another video but something had happened and I wanted to share that with you guys. Um, when I went and checked on my seeds, both of these are squash seeds and they both did it. See how the seeds are sitting on top of the soil there. Yeah, I'm not sure why it did that, um, but it did it on both types of squash seeds. You can see it right in there. So I don't know if the seeds just jumped out of the soil that they didn't like being in it or what. Not sure. But I want to go ahead and restart them. Even though we're at the end of the April, I can go ahead and do this because they are a warm weather plant. They like it when it's a little bit warmer out. And I also want to have some time to get them going. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get my um, seed starting mix here. It's a little bit rough looking, but we'll take care of that. And... Get, I'm going to go ahead and put these back in here because the soil is fine. All we need to do is have a nice loose soil to get the seeds started in. It's not about um, any nutrition in the soil. Right now, we just need to get the seeds started. The seeds will have everything it needs in it until the first two real leaves on the seeds on the plant. And by that time, um, I'll be ready to plant them out in their beds in the vegetable garden. So I'm going to go ahead and start replanting these. I'm not sure why that happened, but you know, that's okay. And the ones that I've got here are, let me show you the seeds, are the Wolatham butternut squash. We love butternut squash. I have like this butternut chili that I make that is just delicious out of this world. In fact, I think I'll make a pot since it's getting so uh, cold out here lately. And then the other one is going to be this um, sweet dumpling winter squash that I got from MI Gardener. Um, it looks so cute and I wanted to give it a try. Um, why not? Who doesn't love squash? So probably a lot of people, but we like squash in this house. Um, so these are the two that kind of pushed up uh, through the soil and... Um, just sitting on the top, it doing nothing, and it actually, when I opened this up, it smelt like pumpkin, you know, but, you know, squash is pumpkin, so again, like I've told you guys in my other seed starting videos when I was planting some other things, the peas and carrots and stuff, uh, which I will link um, up top here throughout the video, um, you're going to plant these um, twice the depth as the diameter of the seed. That's the rule of thumb for seeds unless um, it explains otherwise on the package. And both of these companies, um, Ferry Morris and um, MI Gardener, they provide the information on the back of their packet right here. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the back of MI Gardener on the depth of the seed. In fact, they give a lot of information on the back of their packets, which I really appreciate. Um, I don't care for people's opinions or anything on the packet. If I want someone's opinion, I'm going to look it up on uh, Google to see what people thought of the seeds and stuff. But I just want information on here, you know. When do I plant it? When do I plant it out? When do I start the seed? What depth do I put the seed at? You know, you're going to want that type of information on it. Days to germination. And they definitely give this on MI Gardener. And he does um, offer something at the bottom, the health and uh, a health note on the plants itself. On these, he says, contains calcium, iron, and vitamins A. B1, B2, niacin, and C. So that's kind of nice too. If you're, you know, you're looking out for a certain type of vitamin or mineral that you can or cannot have, um, and that's my case, things that I cannot have. So um, I really appreciate that he does that, and of course he's local here, so I like to support him. Um, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and replant these seeds in here. And these I'm going to plant twice as deep as these seeds are round. And let's see what he recommends in here. Plant depth, one inch. Yep, that makes sense. So he's doing the twice 
the diameter as well, or the length in this case of these seeds. So those guys are in there, and all I need is about two, three inches of soil in my uh, winter sowing. Um, oh, wait. Ooh, almost messed that one up because <laughs> these are the uh, butternuts here. That would have been a mix-up, but that's okay. We still would have had squash, right? Kind of like, um, it's kind of fun to have a little bit of surprise in the garden. Okay. And then what I'll do is I'll put the lid on this one. I'll uh, write it out like I did before in the past and retape this. And I will take this right back outside like I did my other sewing. And then I'll go ahead and plant this one next. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them at the bottom. Don't forget to subscribe. I have my new subscribe button down here at the bottom that you can click on at any time during the video so you can see more of Forest out there. And I will see you guys in the next video.